Hey there, I have already made a PID based line follower robot 2 years back and which uses Polulu DRV8835 motor driver which is a bit more expensive than other modules and also not available in common. So I decided to build a new line follower robot and here it is. Close your eyes. So in this video series, I am going to show you how to make a simple PID line for our robot. Now let's get started. I started by designing the circuit. I used ECD to make the circuit. Here I am using Arduino Nano as the brain and I replaced the old Bululu motor driver with an L293 motor driver. Then I placed a 128 by 32 OLED display for better troubleshooting. Also I added 3 buttons for adjusting the PID values. So this is the completed circuit diagram. A good chase is needed for better working of a line follower robot. So I decided to use a PCB as the chases. So I converted the circuit diagram into a PCB and I designed the PCB just like a F1 card. After my design, our PCB looks something like this. Now we need to fabricate the PCB, for that I downloaded the Gerber file. To fabricate the PCBs, I went to jlcpcb.com. They are one of the best PCB manufacturers in China and they offer only $2 for 5 PCBs. Also their PCB assembly starts from $0. To order PCBs, click on order now and select the Gerber file. After uploading the file, we can select the quantity thickness, color and other parameters. Then we can select the shipping method and we can place the order. After two weeks, I received the PCBs from JLC PCB. And you can see the PCBs. As always, the PCB quality is outstanding and the black color is awesome. Now let's grab all components and let's start the soldering process. You can find all the details and purchase links from the video description. I started the soldering from SMD components, it's nothing, just place the components in its parts and solder. After completing the SMD components, I soldered the through hole components. After completing all the soldering, our PCB looks like this. Now I inserted the motor driver and Arduino Nano into its socket. Then I placed and secured the entity motor to the PCB using the motor holder. Then I attached the front caster wheel and the main wheels to the motor. Connected the motor to the PCB. Attached the OLED and finally the sensor array. Note that this is my 5 channel homemade IR array. You can find the tutorial from here. You can also use QTR 8 rc sensor here. So that's all about the assembly. Now I uploaded a sample sketch and connected the battery. Now you can see the working. Note that this code is not PID based. I am still developing the code but it works without any problem. As you can see here I have made a few mistakes. I forgot to add the capacitors, forgot to connect some tracks, misaligned the switch etc etc. Now I am working on the second version which will be released soon. At that time I will run the line follower using PID program. So if you are interested stay with me. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. Wishing you a happy and creative new year. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.